Much love. Thank y'all for tuning in to IUIC Radio 24-7 radio station. All right. I am your host, Officer Pablo, to my left. Brother Lemuel. And we are casting down imaginations, all right? Today's right. topic is, if you're wicked, keep it separate, all right? Sometimes, man, we can be seduced by these wicked people that have been around, that was in the world and all that stuff, man. You're spending so much time with them. Thank you for no commandments. They out partying at the club. And you wanna go out and hang out with them. What? <laughs> Dang, the scoff is on there already? <laughs> Dang, yeah, they, go to sleep. They they beating the uh the righteous brothers and sisters. Dang. <laughs> they gonna learn today, huh? Yeah, they is. How All praises. Stay on here. Already, man. They just yeah. case. Let's say that's true, man. They want they they go to sleep, man, with stuff on their mind. Right. Lord's will, they learn it something. <laughs> and Esau can't learn they learn that he's the devil. Right. These cats is crazy, man. <laughs> but yeah, today's class, if you're wicked, keep it separate. Because a lot of times we um, some of those that's been close to family or have very close friends and so forth that's not in this truth, you know. Sometimes you can feel, you know, as if you need to go hang out with, I'm not saying you can't, you know, but you need to keep it real simple and short. You know, don't be out going out and, uh, you know, get drunk and all, or drinking around, you know, they go, they get drunk, and you drinking around your family members, they acting ignorant and all, no, you don't need to be around that, all right? Because that gets you to thinking back Hey man, we used to kick it like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, man. You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it. Uh, keep it separate, man. It should be a reality check if you do. Like when you if you around and they getting drunk, you like, dang, we used to do this. It should be like you should be like, damn, I need to get from around here. Mm -hmm. Like, damn, this week is hell. Right. I used to do this with them. Right. They drunk. <laughs> Gotta go. Right. Pork pie being cooked on the grill. Mm -hmm. You're around all of that. Getting all kind of temptation. <laughs> right. Getting all types of memories of bacon. <laughs> and pork bacon. Sausages? Sausages? <laughs> right. Like, come on, man. Are you, are you serious? No, bro. But, yeah, we're gonna get into it, man. Uh, we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna come back. We're gonna get into this thing, man. And uh, it's a very needed class because I know. Uh, a lot of some, most of us is probably real close with our family, man, and probably had a backlash, you know, by you coming in the truth and you start to uh, separate yourself from them and they start to, you know, talk bad about you. And nobody want to get talked bad about, but at the end of the day, who gives a dang? Right. You're doing stuff for the most high God, and they got to understand that. Right. And if they don't, they can keep it pushing. All right? That's what they can do, they can keep it pushing. I definitely Brothers, really need this class. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I dealt with it. When you talk about somebody dealt with this, man, honestly, I was talking to, what was it? Who was I talking to Deacon Javier? I forgot. Last week or something like that, we was talking about, you know, the stuff that we went through or whatever. But um, I was telling I was telling everybody, there was multiple brothers there, I was like, listen, I thought this was going to drop me out of the truth. Honestly. I thought me, the love of my family was going to drop me from the truth because I love my family so much and I was so close and I'm one of those people that's like the center of the family. Right. If I'm not there, something just ain't right, you know, and it's, and it's wrong. And I think I explained that like uh, I see my niece for the first time in a, you know, in a minute and she came up and hugged me. What was it Sunday? Came up and hugged me. She cried and everything. I'm like, damn, I'm just... I'm still in Oklahoma, in Oklahoma. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing the Lord's work. But your family, they look at you like, dang, you're an outsider. Like you ain't the you ain't the you're not the same person. You're right. I'm not the same person. I repented. Right. And then, and then if you was doing wrong, everything would be okay. But when you try to do something for the most high God, bro, you they don't like it. Right. <laughs> And the Bible said the world. Uh, Christ said the world hated me first. It's gonna hate you, right? 
So we got to think about that, man. I really thought that my family was going to be my downfall in this truth. But guess what? I'm still here. I had to push through it. I had to say, the hell with y'all. What's wrong with y'all? I'm going to do what I need to do. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to happen. This is a lifestyle. This ain't, this ain't something we just end, you know, for the moment. If you end here for the moment, for the ride, then you need to get the hell up out of here. You need to get moved about the way. Because this is a lifestyle. All right? This is our heritage. That's right. This is our nationality. This is our whole duty of man is to keep God's commandments and faith in his son, Jesus the Christ, and know who you are. All right? So, DJ and McKizzle, yeah. <laughs> the old man. Yes. The old man. How you smelling right? How you smelling right? Righteous? Yeah, Makai's oils. Back to the, right. Back to the music. I think he was a hot ass. I think he was a watch guy. It's something weird. They got this in the Yeah, it is. It's organized. Right. <laughs> they making it happen. They get everybody up. Consistently getting people up. So there was about three different cars that I seen between yesterday morning. Yeah, between just yesterday morning. Just yesterday morning. From six in the morning to like nine at night. I think it's the way that it's made it. I was on the I was like, bro, I think it's the way that it's made it. And they ain't going to have to do it. I'm saying, I think it's the people next door to y'all, but not right next door, but next door after that, because they got a red, uh, black uh, uh, It was a white dude that I seen, but it was black dude that they wanted there. Black dude, black dude pulled up in the red, and I think it was. It was, was, red, it was some kind of red car, but the white dude had a black car, he always pulled in the garage. And both of them cars, bro, I promise, look like. Both of the cars that was on I had even looked at I had even looked at the video. I ain't I seen I know what that color Because it got them square lights. Better give up praise for the most high. Second of all, I gotta thank God. Yeah, I know it's like the same thing, but I doubled up because he saved my life. Back then, I was acting up. Met him and I straightened up. Jesus Christ was a black man, not a white man. Those are my 
had all the lights on, and you open the door, the lights stay on. I'm in the back seat, 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 I'm
405-293-2029. All right, today's topic is if your wicked keep you separate, right. get away from me, your demon. <laughs> get away. Don't let that wicked person take you up out of this truth, man. Right. Don't let it ain't in for it. Ain't that serious. I guarantee you it's not. Don't let don't let them change your mind, huh? Right. Hey. <laughs> don't let them change your mind, huh? Give me a second Maccabees chapter two and verse fifty. I think that's what it is. Shooting all the way from the hill. Two and fifty? Yeah, two and fifty. Think it's ain't second. no 50 and 2. Is it 1st Maccabees? Must be, ain't no 50 and 2. Let me see, man. Yeah, it would have to be, because that's 50. Now, therefore, my sons be jealous of the law. Yeah, that's it. Right there. 1st Maccabees, chapter 2, verse 50. Now, therefore, my sons, be zealous for the law. Be zealous of the law. Make sure you... Staying firm in his truth, keeping the commandments of God. Come on. And give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Give your life for the covenant of your fathers. You should be willing to give up your life for this truth. All right? Be willing to die for this truth. Right. I ain't talking about talking about it. I'm talking about being about it. Be willing to die for this truth. All right? Like Christ was. Christ did die for this. Right. He died for us as well. We got to do the same thing. Our forefathers died for this. All right. You got it? That's how you know you got a, you got a, got a good scripture when you highlight that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you, you, you highlight this thing. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, you want 51? Yeah, just read 51. Through, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe start off. Yeah. Okay. First Maccabees chapter two verse fifty. Now therefore, my sons, be ye zealous for the law, one, and give your lives for the covenant of your fathers. Come on. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. Call to remembrance the acts our fathers did in that time. All right. Call. So that means we gotta remember what our forefathers did in certain situations. Same thing with Romans fifteen and four. I like going back and forth between that. Right. All right. Especially telling you remember where you Come remember on. what our forefathers did. Learn from their mis learn from what they did. All right? Learn from their mistakes. Call to remembrance. That I mean you gotta have to study and read to remember what our forefathers and foremothers went through. They went through a lot. Come on. Call to remembrance what acts our fathers did in their time. Uh -huh. So shall you receive great honor and an everlasting name. So shall you should receive great honor and an everlasting name. Alright, that was that name? Name. Yeah, everlasting name. Your name. So that's very important. Your name is very important. Don't be that person. And your name is everything. Everybody's mouth. Right. Every time something happens, it's you. you. You're involved in some type of way. You don't want that name. You don't want that name where your name is dung among Israel because you screw up all the damn time. Right. That's not what you want. You want to have a name like, listen, when your name come up, you're like, okay, that's, that's a good brother right there. You know, even if the person did have some issues, the more time they, they actually is in this truth, they in this fight, that's a good brother right there. Right. You know, we all got issues. That's a good brother. That's a good sister right there. All right? So make sure that you, your name is everything in this truth. It's like uh, uh, the uh, Eleazar in Maccabees. What a second Maccabees six, I believe. The old uh, old man, the scribe. He was like, "Heck no, I ain't eat no pork. You got your mind? Right. Heck no, I'm a dollar with honor. I ain't, you ain't gonna screw my name up. I did. I've been keeping the commandments for for eighty years. Right. You got your dang mind? I'm gonna do what I need to do. I ain't gonna mess my name up now to eat some pork so I can live. You got your mind." And Esau loved it. That's why they put him in that. So, because if that would have happened, the Israel probably would have went to crap. Right. But he stood strong. He stayed firm in this truth, man. He kept the commandments and said, the hell with Esau. I'm going to do what I need to do. I'm willing to die for this truth. Great example. He was willing to die for the covenant of his fathers. 
All right, now give me uh, Proverbs 12, 26. I don't like these things. Chords, man. <laughs> you all over the place. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. Come on. But the way of the wicked but seduces the way them. of the wicked. When you're around a wicked Negro, what happens? The way of the wicked seduces them. The way of the wicked will seduce you. All right? You keeping the commands, you, then you end up going over your partner house, and next thing you know, your behind is, is all influenced. <laughs> He's doing so wicked as you like, man, you reminiscent, man, we used to do that. Or y'all having those conversations back in the day, how y'all used to run the streets. All right, run the streets and stuff. The next thing you know, you reminiscing. And next thing you know, you, you mess around and have weed in your mouth after a while. Right. <laughs> you, you blowing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, man. The wicked will seduce you. If you're around the wicked enough, you'll start doing the same thing. It's like when it comes to music. That's why I said, be careful what you listen to. Be careful. All right? Because music can very much influence you. All right? Real talk. It can influence you. What is that? <laughs> they, they entertain the scoffer. Oh, the hell with the scoffer. Leave them alone. Right. But yeah, the wicked seduces the righteous. All right? So make sure that you're on point at all times. Don't play around with it. When you're around your, when you, say for instance, you're around the partners at some, at one point. They need to be hearing the scriptures. Listen, right. brother, you got to do this and that. This is that. That's what you need to be doing. That's how you prevent from being seduced by the dang wicked. Mm -hmm. Because that dang demon on them will come and hop on you. Right. <laughs> or even in the truth, you got a brother that's wicked as hell right now. You hanging around him all the time. You know he ain't in the spirit. You need to check your dang spirit. Check your spirit. Because it ain't right. You need to be around righteous people. People that's positive. People that's trying to do the work. Mm -hmm. Alright? You don't need to be around no wicked spirit. Tell you because it will seduce you and you end up being the same person. That spirit will drop upon you, man. All right. Uh, get uh, Give me Sirach 27. Start at verse. Sirach chapter 27 and verse 12. Sirach. Chapter 27, verse 12. Let's start at uh, <clears throat> 10. Yeah. Sirach, chapter 27, <coughs> verse 10. As the lion lieth in wait for the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changes as the moon. Uh huh. If thou be among, if thou be among the indiscreet, if you be among the indiscreet, the indiscreet. Let's get the definition of that, man. Let's get that. Let me get it. Go ahead, speak. <coughs> I'm gonna keep reading it. Yeah, read it again. Read. Start from verse ten again. As a, a Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty-seven, verse ten. As the lion lieth in, in wait. For the prey, so sin for them that work iniquity. The discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom, but a fool changeth as the moon. If thou be among the indiscreet, if you be among the indiscreet, this is what indiscreet mean. Uh, not discreet, lacking prudence. Uh, those ain't regular Negro words. No, it's not. <laughs> let, me, let me get better. Let me get some yeah, better. Break, break that thing down. Uh, careless, foolish, hasty, heedless, uh, rash, reckless, unthinking. You don't want to be around these Negroes. <laughs> the indiscreet. Um, let me give you some more. You got some more? Go ahead. Test. All right, this is from Miriam Dictionary. It says, not having or showing good judgment. Indiscreet. Indiscreet, not showing good judgment. 
and you being around them. So the Mosai said, if thou be among the indiscreet, the Negroes that have not good judgment whatsoever. <laughs> they are terrible. They are foolish. They are foolish. And what else I say? Foolish, uh, hasty, uh, inconsiderate, insensitive, reckless. If you be among them, come on. Observe the time. You better observe the times. You better get away from them. Don't be around for too long. Don't be around for too long. You never know what's happening. You chilling with one of your partners, and they just hit a lick on somebody, and you don't know. <laughs> and you out chilling with them outside. Right. And you wonder why cars is coming by slowing down. You better observe the time. You better get the hell away from there. Right. But you get put to death <laughs> in the wrong place at the wrong time. Most high gonna deal with you. Right. right. Yeah, most high will deal with you. Don't be around that cat, man. It ain't worth it. All right? It ain't worth it. Can I read it again? Sirach, chapter 27, verse 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. But continually be among men with understanding. You ain't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about uh, looking over your shoulder, watching your back when you're around righteous men, because you know people ain't out doing some wickedness. All right, you ain't got to worry about an enemy coming up, uh, trying to put you to death because you just did something last night. You just robbed him last night. You ain't got to worry about that. You ain't got to worry about that. Uh, the, some brother looking for you because you didn't uh, commit adultery with his wife. No, you ain't got to worry about that because you around brother that's keeping the commandments. You ain't got to worry about that. Right. Or vice versa, a woman doing the same thing. It don't matter. Y'all get the same treatment. Come on. The discourse, verse 13. The discourse of fools is irksome. It's irksome. It's irksome. Come on. And their sport is in the wantonness of sin. And their sport is in the wantonness of sin. Damn, that's heavy. Dang. Give me the definition of irksome. <laughs> he said they sport. Yeah, they, they, are, they are crafty with it. They practice their yeah. thing. <laughs> right. For real, they are masters at it. Yeah. They study it. Oh. You got it? Go ahead. What does Ertzel mean? The discourse of fools. The discourse of fools is irksome. You got it? Yes, it says annoying or irritating. <laughs> it get on my damn nerves. <laughs> they are annoying to me. It ir uh, irritates me. So it said, <laughs> this is what the Most High God has said. Let me go get on my damn nerves. The discourse of fools. Right. The discourse of fools get on my nerves. <laughs> it's irksome. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and their sport, their sport, meaning they have... They are crafty with this. They are skilled in this area. Professional. Right. They are professional. It says, their sport is in the wantonness of sin. So that's all they know. All they know is sin. They know how to do. That's why, what's that scripture that says? Uh, wise to do evil. Yeah. What's that? They're wise to do evil. Let me get it. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 4.22, that's yeah. what it is. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Uh -huh. For my people is foolish. Our people, there you go again. Ain't that what uh, indiscreet mean? <laughs> <laughs> indiscreet, foolish. For my people are foolish. Come on. They have not known me. Uh -huh. They are sottish children. They are sottish children. Come on. And they have none understanding. They don't understand a dang thing, especially this Bible. They have no understanding. Why? Because they ain't got nobody to teach no understanding. Our, our, our elders that's in, the, that's in our neighborhoods ain't teaching our people nothing. <laughs> but to sell dope, nothing. They failed us. Right. Your elders have failed you for years. Horribly. Horribly. That's why you. That's why the, the streets is full with drugs. That's why when the, the young the young uh, cats now is running the neighborhoods, right? The older men ain't going to them to for, get the drugs, right? <laughs> when they supposed to be having having it on lock, that right. happened back in the day. The old school had it on lock. Yeah, they 
Back in the 80s and the 70s. Oh, Negro, what? What's that one of them young cats come around there? <laughs> you get slapped up. You get them slaps. <laughs> real quick. <too>. Real quick. <laughs> They ain't gonna play with you. Right, they send you home <laughs> to your parents and they give you the beat down. Right. That's how it happened. But guess what? We ain't there no more. Read it again. Uh, <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Come on. For my people are foolish. Mm. They have they have not known me. They are sottish children. They are sottish children. Can you get the definition of sottish for me? And they have none understanding. And they have none understanding. They don't have any understanding according to this Bible. They don't keep the commandments. They don't understand who they are as a nation. Right. Come on. They are wise to do evil. They are wise to do evil. They are wise. I mean, they're, they have wisdom of doing evil. Man, they're smart as hell when it comes to Man. Like wicked. <laughs> Man. They know all, they know all the, uh, what's, what's it called? The hacks. We can hack in your phones, computers. <laughs> right. They can rob you. They know what, how to do it. I mean, it's, 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 they know how to break down some dope right. to science. Man. Negro, you wise to do evil. Right. <laughs> you know how to break it down in, into, into straight ounces. Turn and, two in the four. Right. <laughs> or it's about a little, it's about, it's about a liter over. Uh, Pull, pull about six meters out of this. We wise do a lot of evil, bro. You got to get the water boiling just right. Just right, man. We, we blocked a chemistry. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, if it was selling, if chemistry had dope in it, we'd, get, we'd have an A plus in that sucker. We'd, we'd get AP. Right. AP in dope selling. If they did, if they taught math like that, our people right. like, man. Oh, they excel out of this world. What? Negroes is wise do evil, bro. Dude. You got it? You yeah. got the definition of sottish? Yes, yeah. sottish. Resembling a sot, drunken. Also, dottish or stupid. <laughs> oh, wow. It said we are, okay, uh, start back. <laughs> so we can put this in context, man. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Come on. For my people is foolish. They foolish. They have not known me. They have not known the Most High God whatsoever because they don't keep the commandments. Come on. They are sottish children. They are what? Sottish children. They are some stupid people. They are some stupid children. Kids. <laughs> right. He called them children. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with y'all? Come on. And they and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil. They are wise to do evil. We always know, we know all the statistics of all the evil stuff to do, but we don't know how to keep the Sabbath holy. Right. We don't know how to uh, eat the foods that they said we could eat in the Bible. Right. We want to go and eat pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster. And you wonder why you got gout. Ankles swelled up, look like thighs. <laughs> you got hamstring and quads on your ankles because you eat that poke. The scripture is Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Alright? So just imagine that, man. We were wise to do a lot of evil, man. A lot of evil. Just like what's going on in Chicago and all these other places. We were wise to do evil. You know what I'm saying? We know how to break down packs. We know how to uh, buy guns and, and do all kind of stuff with them, but we don't know how to keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. And we wonder why we're in the condition we're in today because we are foolish. We are wise to do evil. We are side as children. Right. That's what we are. This is what God is telling us. We got to get our stuff together, man. It's that time. Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Remember the scripture said what? Straight is the gate. Straight is the gate. So imagine that it's small too. Only one person will be able to go there at a time. You can only make yourself into the uh, kingdom of heaven. You can't bring nobody with you. Nobody can bring you with them. You're on your own. All right? So you got to make sure that you're doing what you need to do. All right, give me a... Uh, yeah, finish that. Yeah, finish that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> they are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. But to do good. They wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That's why they can't understand that Christ is a black man. Right. 
He didn't have no color, brother. Oh yeah, yeah, brother. He, he olive. <laughs> okay, which color of olive is he? <laughs> right. I know one of them is black. Brother, it's just, so many excuses our people bring up, man. It's ridiculous, man. man. It's so many excuses. Like he's olive. So like, Negro, have you seen olive? Right. Is it white? Have you seen a white olive? Never. <laughs> or red one? Never. never. You never see one. Olive is straight Negro colors. <laughs> straight Negro colors. Right. And you, come on, man. Our people are sick, man. We wise do evil. But when it comes to this Bible, we have no knowledge. None. They have all the knowledge in the world. They can tell you, break down the statistics of LeBron James. Right. But then again, in high can, school. Right. They got all, everything. They can break down the uh, the uh, Michael Jordan's one through however many he got. They know the shoes. They with, know everything. Oh, them the uh, them the vibes, ain't it? Right. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they look good though, but hey, yeah. I don't know what number these are. No. But we wise do evil when it comes to keeping the Sabbath day holy, keeping the commandments, loving your brother as thyself. When it comes to that, we don't understand it. That's why we kill one another because we don't see Christ in one another. Right. That's why. Because we were wise to do evil and the good, we don't have any understanding of it. None. At all. Sadish children. Give me uh, Psalms 26. Psalms chapter 26. Feel free to chime in, uh, Officer Epicon, if you want to, man. Psalms chapter 26. Let me get it right quick. I gotta say this, bro. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. You know how you, <laughs> you said they died. They died for this. They died for this. Talking about us, the righteous brothers and sisters. Anyway, every time you said that, bro, I don't know why, but Mike Epps kept popping up in my head when he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was top flight security. Oh, <laughs> I died for this. <laughs> <laughs> he was strong. Yeah, he was strong. He was he strong. Was, he was for real about that thing. Right, he took it seriously. Yes, and, that wasn't even, and it wasn't even going to benefit him. Right. But that's how we need to be, man, about this truth. Like, for real, for real. We need to, we need to take this a lot more serious. You know, at the end of the day, it's bigger than you. It's bigger than you. It's about the body. Bringing the nation back. You know how good that is? What... Okay, yeah, we only can put ourselves in the, in the kingdom, right? But what good is it for you to just know the knowledge for yourself? Right. Like, really, what good is it? Like you. That's them talents. Right. You got the talents, you hide yours, you buried it. Right. Man, I, I love seeing my people wake up. We have people on here that has waking up from Periscope. Oh, praise. Didn't know anything about us. Now they in the truth, repented. Oh, praise to the most high. Man, it's a bad, it's a, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, what we was born to do, and that's teach the people who they are to keep the commandments and faith in Christ, period. That's what our forefathers did. They put their life on the line all the time. Right. All the time. Paul, what, been shipwrecked three times, beat, he been stoned. Spit on. Everything. Christ would do worse than he did. Right. Worse than he did. Just imagine that, like, we got brothers getting their heads cut off. Put in jail. Put in prison, yeah. Our forefathers went through it for this truth. And they didn't give a damn about it. But telling people that Christ loved them. Right. <laughs> you had, uh, what's it, uh, 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 Meshach, Shadrach. Shadrach, and Abednego. Who <laughs> cast like the hell with you? Right. You gonna burn me up? All right, cool. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yeah, Stephen too. He got stoned. Who? Stephen? Yeah. He got he got stoned. He was giving them the law and they was like, I can't hear it no more. Nigga, <laughs> shut up. I don't want to hear no laws no more. Hey, that's how our friends used to be. <laughs> when you when your family members, when you come around, they're like, ah, oh, now here you come. We yeah, they tell you, come on, yeah, we're gonna we gonna have dinner and everything on Sunday. You can just come and just have dinners with dinner with us. And uh, you know, we're gonna pray and all this. Just don't bring your Bible. Right. 
Because nigga, you crazy. We're not going to talk Don't about it. Don't bring your Bible and we won't talk about the Bible. Yeah, yeah we ain't going to even talk about it. We, we just going to enjoy each other. Yeah. <laughs> we just, yeah, we just going to enjoy each other. <laughs> what? How? What? Did How? you just come to the uh, so-called church? You're the devil. Right. You're the devil. Right. Come on, man. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You need to be like that girl. How am I supposed to stop? How? How? <laughs> How? 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 How am I supposed to stop talking about it? Right. How? 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 When you keeping start? the commandment, you doing what you're supposed to. This, this people should be like, dang, you know the Bible. Right. They are, I, that's, that's what's up, man. Teach me more. These are supposed to be Christians. They don't want to hear the Bible. I remember, uh, was it soldier? I mean, uh, uh, Lahab, right? Brother Lahab. He said his, his mama is an evangelist. I don't know, Lahab might be on here. He said his mama is evangelist. She go around, supposed to be preaching and so forth. But she tell that Negro, Negro, you better not bring that Bible over here. Leave that Bible at home. Like, how can you be an evangelist? Right. You're supposed to be a prophet, a prophet test, and you don't want to hear the Bible. Right. Come on, bro. We wise to do evil. We were wise to do a lot of evil, man. But we will not keep the commands whatsoever. All right? You got that? Uh, <laughs> Psalms, what was we at? 20, what did it say, 26? Yeah, 26 verse 1. Sorry, y'all, man, if I'm yawning on here. Listen, these last two days I've been up trying to catch this dang thief. Man, it's been a group effort. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> we ain't had no sleeps. Go ahead. Psalms chapter 26, verse 1. Come on. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. Mm -hmm. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. Therefore, I shall not slide. Come on. Examine me, O Lord, uh -huh. and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. He said, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart. All right, put me to the test, most high. You know, so I know you're dealing with it. So I know it's real. Right. <laughs> That's pretty much he said. So I know it's real. Come on. For thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. Uh -huh. I have not sat with vain persons. I have not sat with vain persons. Come on. Neither will I go in with disassemblers. Neither will I go with disassemblers. Those that just tear stuff up. All right? Always doing some wickedness. Come on. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. This, you ain't finna be around David and you in the midst of a lot of wickedness, man. You ain't gonna be around him. He gonna keep it separate from you. You gonna be put to death. Right. One of the two. Because he was a warrior. All right? He was a warrior. He was not that warrior, though. I know, I was thinking that. Not that warrior. But he's a warrior. He ain't finna have no, he do have mighty men. Y'all silly, bro. Y'all silly as hell. It's, uh, it's Psalms 20, 26 and verse, uh, we started at one, but we at five now. The dog, those of you that's on Periscope that's looking for the scripture, right? Read that again. Psalms chapter 26, verse 5. Uh -huh. I have hated the congregation of evildoers. He have hated the congregation of evildoers. Those that come together and commit wickedness. He hated them. All right, come on. And will not sit with the wicked. He will not sit with those that's wicked as hell. That's not keeping the commandments. He's not going to sit around them. That's why I said, what does it say? To observe the times. You know what I'm saying? Observe them times. Because... At any time, the Most High God can be trying to put judgment on that individual, and you in the way. You're going to get put to death. You get judged right with him. You right with him. You never know what he just got done doing. You know what I'm saying? You right. hanging out with him. The dude could have just committed all types of wickedness. Right. And now you in the way of it. Because you want to be around this wicked person. You know they wicked. It ain't like, and a lot, most of the time, you ain't even trying to go over the Bible with this person. You just around them because that's your old partner. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't going for no scriptures. Tell them, like, listen, bro, you got to get off of this, bro. You got to get off of this. But you up there chilling and reminiscing and stuff. Having a drink with them. Going back over. You know what I'm saying? No, bro, that ain't how you do it. That's wickedness. To hell with that. To hell with it. 
You need to go over, you need to be telling you, if you really love your partner, you need to go over the scriptures with them. All right? That's what you need to do. And if you don't want to listen, to hell with them. You got a family. You got a family bigger than what your family used to be. You got more best friends than you ever had. Right. Right now when you come in this truth. All right? Leave that alone. If he ain't trying to do nothing, leave he or she alone. Get away from him. Like David. David wasn't having it at all. You better get away from me. I ain't sitting down with you wicked cats. Read it again. Uh, what is it? First Psalm, five? Yeah. Psalm chapter 26, verse 5. I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Uh -huh. I will wash my hands in innocence. Innocence. Innocency. Innocency. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so will I compass thine altar, O Lord. That I may publish with the with the voice of thanksgiving Come on. and tell of all thy wondrous works. Uh -huh. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Gather not my soul with sinners. Do not what? Gather not my soul with sinners. Gather not my soul with sinners. Alright? Keep me away from them. Keep me away from them wicked Negroes. Gather not my soul with sinners. Come on. Nor my life with bloody men. Nor my, my, nor my life with bloody men. Come on. In those hands is mischief. In whose hands is mischief. Come on. In whose hands is mischief. And their right hand is full of bribes. Uh -huh. Come on. But, but as for me, I will walk in my, in my integrity. Don't put me around these people. But for me, I'm going I'm to do what I need to do to make sure I push this truth out. I'm going to do what I need to do to make sure that I'm serving you correctly, Father. That's what he said. Come on. Redeem me and be merciful unto me. Redeem me and be merciful to me. Because I know sometimes I'm going to screw up. But, Father, I love you. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Have mercy on me, Father. Come on. My foot standeth in an even place. And... In the congregations will I bless the Lord. In the congregations will I bless the Lord. You got to see how our forefathers were set up, bro. They weren't playing. They was on a mission to make sure Israel was doing what they were supposed to do, man. Right. That, that's what we got to do. We got to make sure that we out and about handling business like we're supposed to. All right? That's what we're supposed to do. That's our job. Listen, this is a profession, bro. This is the real deal. Forefathers was with the deal. Right. <laughs> like my cousin used to say. He said what? Like my cousin, she used to always say, I'm with the deal. But she, you know, she was she checked was, out. She, she was, was talking was, about some old wicked stuff. Talking about she with the deal, but yeah, our forefathers was with the deal. I say, oh, you with the deal? Well, uh, leave that punk alone. Right. She'll cut you out. <laughs> right. So I can't give I can do everything else. I take the pants off, but I just can't get rid of that bacon. But then they pull Philippians. I can do all things, things through Christ. Christ. So me. <laughs> exactly. That's what I want to say. How the hell? How the you, they say you can't keep all the laws, right? You can't be perfect. You can't be perfect. You can't keep all the you can't laws, right? Is, but but you can do all things through Christ, which strengthens you, right? What the hell are you talking about? I guess all excludes. I mean, like the commandments. I yeah, guess. Well, I guess all you can do all wickedness. Yeah, perfect ain't in that part of all. <laughs> you know right, you can do all the wickedness you want to. Yeah, that's what they talking about. That's that, that's exactly what they talking about. <laughs> but then again, you can't keep that. It's hypocrisy. Exactly. How are you gonna say uh, you can't keep all the laws? It's impossible. This, this, and that. But you got Philippians tattooed on your body somewhere. That's like the most common scripture that's, that's tattooed on people's bodies. Stay favored. Right. When you tell them, listen, man, you know, them tattoos is wicked. Oh, man, it's, you know, I can't keep all the laws. Some of these like can't tell the same thing. Oh, y'all were friends this every day? Yeah, every day. Yeah, we wear them every day on all our clothes. What about you? You out here trying to teach me? Where your friend is at? Oh, uh, they in the back of the trunk. Where your stash? <laughs> Where your tassels at? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I, hey, listen. I ran up on a brother. I mean, a brother ran up on me at Walmart. I ain't going to reveal where camp be from. Ran up on me at Walmart. 
it was right after this, right after the Sabbath. We went to Walmart. I forgot what we was getting. Me and my wife and my kids were in the car. And I, I walked in. Of course, I had my friend is on. The first thing you see, bam. And I seen the dude. I didn't know it was him at the moment. But he was looking at me kind of strange. So I just kept it pushing. I didn't think nothing of it. I wasn't thinking nothing evil. Like he was trying to fight or nothing like that. So I'm walking out. The dude is in the car. He drives by. He's like, hey, shalom. Okay, who's this dude? Shalom, bro, what's up? Uh, he was like, so uh, you an Israelite? It's like, uh, yeah. I said, yeah, I'm an Israelite. He said, oh, okay, I said, how'd you, know, how'd you know if I'm an Israelite? He said, I see your friend is on. So, and I, I, I asked that question on purpose. <laughs> how do you know so-and-so, right? So the dude pulled up on the side of the car. It was a space right there. So we got to talking, and yeah, I annihilated him. I said, bro, so I said, bro, you recognize me because I have fringes on. That's how you knew I was in this truth. I said, brother, where your friend is at? Oh, man, they, 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 they in the back of the truck. <laughs> I said, what? They on my garment. What? They in the back? In the trunk? Locked away? <laughs> Took off. Like, really? By the spare tire. Just in case I need them. Yeah, just in case I need the fringes. I got them in the back. <laughs> no, that's wickedness, man. Listen, a lot of people that's wise do we, we, we do some of these brothers in these camps, man. Stop it. Stop it. They tell us that we over righteous. Right. But they don't know what that means. We're over righteous for keeping all the commandments. Uh, that's what we're supposed to do. That's the whole duty of man, is keeping right. the commandments. And fear of the most high God. Right. What the hell is wrong with you? Faith in his son. Right. Our people, listen, man, we're going to do this, man. We're going we're gonna to walk like David did. Right. He wasn't playing around. He said, get me away from these sinners, man. I'm going to walk in this truth. All right? We're going to take a quick break right quick. All right? Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, how do you join? That's a good question. How do you join? Uh, what you can do is contact wherever you're located. Contact the leadership. You can go to israelunite.org slash contacts. Is it forward slash? Forward slash contacts. Or you can just go to israelunite.org and oh, that was Booby. Oh, that was Baba Booey. Oh, the hell with you, Baba Booey. I can't really see this far, so I can really can see his face. I just seen what he wrote. Hell no, Baba Booey, you stay away. You stay away. You still on here, Baba Booey? Dang! Get a job. I thought y'all said we was lazy. Wow. I thought y'all said the black folks was lazy. But you on here every day. <laughs> Baba Booey on here every day with about 19 Periscope accounts. Your data is red all the way up. What's wrong? <laughs> this dude paying $700 cell phone bills. Just so he can scoff on our parents. Right. Yeah, I'm about to say, just but, so he can try to cause confusion. Right. He's all the devil the Bible speaks of. It's real important to him. He said, oh, he works for Periscope. I wouldn't <laughs> doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it whatsoever. <clears throat> At all. Dang. But yeah, we're about to take a quick break. All right, make sure you guys call in at 405-293-2029. And I'm not talking about Bible Booey. All right? If y'all sincere, y'all got questions, or if y'all just want to call in, or whatever, call in. We we accept, we want to hear your conversation. Right. All right? DJ, back to the music. Yeah, he go hard. Baba Booey is, is a beast at Periscope. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he might. Yeah, hell yeah. He been scoffing for the last... When I'm in the scriptures, I send the Christian young man around here, sir. And the Israelite who ain't teaching, right? He gon' get cut worse. And if he ain't like, who is he is, what is that on his yeah. shirt? Got bridges on, I'ma keep him on until I'm in that dirt. You gon' get this verse. You gon' get this verse. Alright, he do the, the day and night classes? <laughs> Dang, I know everybody knows who Bible Boy is. Uh, 405-293-2029. 405-293-2029. Yeah,
Israelites, we said no. Babylon, your black bus, because Esau, your time is up. Everybody hate the truth, because that's because the truth hurts. Shout out to Hoshai, because they know. Hey, whoever that was that asked about how to pray, this is how you pray right here. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them to the enemy, so that they carry them away captives into the land of the enemy, far or near. Yet, if they bethink themselves, you remember, in the land whither they were carried captives, and repent, ask forgiveness, don't do it no more. Like the brother who was asking about the tattoos. Don't do no more tattoos, bro. Just don't, you good. Look, cause I got some, but just don't do it no more. Yet, if they bethink themselves in the land where they were carried captives, and repent, and make supplication unto thee, in the land of them that carried them captives, saying, we have sinned and done perversely. We have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies, which led them away captives, and pray unto thee toward their land, that's to the east, face the east, that's our land, Jerusalem, uh, and pray unto thee toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers, the city which thou hast chosen, and the house which I have built for thy name. Then hear thou their prayer and their supplication in heaven, thy dwelling place, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people that have sinned against thee, and all their transgressions wherein they have transgressed against thee, and give them compassion before them who carried them captive, that they may have compassion on them. So basically, you just got to pray to the east, bro. Face the east. Ask for forgiveness and don't do it no more. No, yeah. Hands up. This game kind of spicy. Not around here. Ask the, ask the most high God for, for mercy, man, and let them know that let them know that you done wickedness, man. That's part of repentance. We all done it. The first part of repentance is knowing that you're in the midst of sin. Alright? Knowing that you did wrong. Alright? And then you go and you, you tell the most high. Listen, he knows. He knows already what you've done. So when you when you were supplicating to him, you just basically let him know that you know that you're in the midst of sin and that you need you want mercy. You wanna you wanna get up out of that wickedness. You wanna change the life. You wanna be born again. Alright, you wanna keep the command. Acknowledge that thing. Own it. Yeah, yeah. own, own <laughs> it. You've done. You've done it. Own it, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did it. Damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You gotta wait till after the break. If you try, if you try to call, wait till after the break. <laughs> <laughs> Just like commentary without the rap, you get to it quick. <laughs> Living in hell, you can't already tell. Glorifying death, those where they forces the deal. Either that, or we fill up the jail. This ain't no truth in the land. Need purpose, there ain't need knowledge, just sell. Let's just keep it real. We're trying to pull you out of the dark. I didn't see the murder rate go up off of the chart. We pull a gun up, we tell the earth, though, that it's spark. And then a police, soon as we do not. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, that's what I'm gonna do. I thought you going to sound for out. Uh, original world. <laughs> Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe to uh uh Israelite Radio.org. 
all right? Preferably, we would like y'all to go through that and then go through Periscope, you know, but however way it's alert you, it is what it is, you know? Remember, we got 24-7 radio all day, all day. So you can always stay in the spirit. Right. Always. You always got music to listen to. Who's ready for tapping? Now, you ain't ready. I am. You ain't ready. <laughs> no. We ready. We are ready. We got to make sure we're going to have everything set up for y'all. So everything goes smooth. So everybody can have a good time. Hey, but she got everything. You can ask me speak. She at Walmart right now. <laughs> oh, praise it. <laughs> Get it in. She said, as we speak. All praise. Yeah, are y'all ready for Dev Atonement? <laughs> y'all ready for that? <laughs> All praise. You ready for that fast? Right. <laughs> Better be eating fruit today. You're right. Don't get you about five watermelons. Start on them. All praise. Do y'all ever play Hebrew Jedi on the Oh, you have it? Email, if, if that's the case, email iuic.oklahoma at isunite.org and inquire about it. Yeah, we all need that day of atonement. But you real with yourself. Let Noah. Oh, did I give him the wrong one? Okay, yeah, all right, my bad. You were fast, sundown to sundown. So, uh, this week, as as Benjamin said, it'll be a uh, it's a double Sabbath. So Saturday, Friday is sundown. The Saturday sundown is a Sabbath, but immediately at sundown, Saturday night goes into the Day of Atonement until that Sunday sundown. So. You can't buy solo cook Friday sundown, Saturday sundown. But you can, you, you can eat at that time. But as soon as sundown on Saturday night, you can't put nothing in your mouth. Nothing. Alright? No toothbrush. Get your fingers out your mouth. <laughs> all this stuff, all right? Don't put nothing in your mouth at all. But you want to be afflicting yourself until Sunday at sundown, all right? I just want to make myself clear that y'all know that because I don't want y'all to be like, hey, listen, I, oh, I forgot. Right. Nah, don't be like that. Make sure y'all, make if y'all want mercy, do what you're supposed to do, all right? Israel. Don't forget about it. Israel. It should be easy for you too because right after the Sabbath, everybody might still be at the school. You know what I'm saying? Said, don't say red. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fire. Yeah, don't be in people's face. Right. <laughs> I used that little mask on. So yeah, the little doctor mask. <laughs> don't smell my own. I'm gonna smell yours. <laughs> Don't bite your nails at that. Right. All right. Pray to the Most High. Give your brother and his sister. Right. I don't even know his sister and his sister is a word. But, uh, you know, just constantly pray to the Most High. Fix yourself, man. What it's for. You know what's funny? My daughter. Last year. <laughs> Last year she was the day of atonement. 
Oh man, she was like, she was dead. She was like laid down in the bed like this. <laughs> Literally, like her whole body was like this. And I was like, Sarai, you okay? And she was looking at me like, I want something. She was like, I I'm done. What, what else do you want me to do, Daddy? I don't, I don't have any energy to move at all. Right. <laughs> I wonder how my son gonna do it this week. Right. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get my son to do it. He's what, one? Yeah, he's gonna, he gonna be like Cat Williams' son. Remember when, they, when he said uh, they gave him the pills? Oh, he was bouncing out the wall. He gave him the medicine. He was Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> see how he do it. Huh. He likes to eat. You won't see how he do it. Right. Yeah, exactly. She's like, y'all trying to kill me. Pop, but trip. She's doing, she's been doing better. I think we did it uh, when she was one, then when she was two. Now she's three now, so she should be all right. She's still better. We can do one more. Yeah, so make sure y'all prepare. Have your kids do it, you know. Don't be afraid the most high God will take care of everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what was it? Uh, Nick and I Bond's wife, Ida. She, uh, she had twins fasting. So even pregnancy ain't even an excuse. But you know, like uh, Deacon Aesop said, it's between your doctor and the most high. You know what you can do when it comes to that. All praise. No, it's really best to do it now because they can understand now. You know what I'm saying? When this, when they're used to doing it, they know. So when they get older, it's second nature to them. Right. You know, train them up in the way they should go. Right. Just like keeping friends. Now they know they got friends on their clothes. They know if you ain't got them on there, come on. Where my friends? Or even if you just bought it, what my for my friends? You know, they not exempt. You gotta retrain them. They don't bring them up the same way we was brought up. Right. Don't wait. We trying to we trying to reverse this thing. Exactly. Don't wait. Flip it back the right way. The way it's designed. The way the Most High set it up. Yeah, so make, make sure they train, listen, what it says, train up a child. In the way they should go. Yeah, in the way they should go. They get old, they won't depart. Yeah. That's real, boy. That's, that's, that's a heavy scripture right yeah, there. It is. You know? You trying to get the kingdom. You ain't teaching them. Yeah, they gonna, it's going to be too late. It's going to be harder. The older they get. <laughs> right, the pets. The pets have to sit up, man. Right. Y'all got there just howling. Like, when I get my land, right, got a horse. I'm going to put my horses on. Tie them up. Well, they face like this, they can't get down there and eat. Right. That muzzle on there. Right. It'd be all right. <laughs> Put a day muzzle on them. The hell with them. We all go to sleep. I'm saying, man. Most I love that thing, man. Do what he said.
everything you dying by nuclear fire. He that say if I know him and keep no commandments, you know he a liar. And the truth is not in him, and if you don't repent, you dying by nuclear fire. DJ and McKissel, he is his, he, 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 uh, on fire. He on it, huh? So we gonna spill it, bro. Let's play another one, bro. <laughs> All right, we back from cat. We back from break. We are in casting down imaginations. It's Unite Radio dot org. All right, the only where only place we can get twenty four seven uh, of righteous music in class live classes. All right, the only place you can get this at, man, at IntraUniteRadio.org. This is Casting Down Imagination, the first class every day, right. Monday through Friday. And we've been getting it in since, uh, well, Passover was when? Was it late March? I can't remember. Ever since then, we've been getting it in, though. Right, we've been, we've been doing this for, for a while, at least, what is that? Foolishness. Oh, vote Trump. Yeah, you're right. Let them, let them get in there. Mm. For real. Negroes will repent then. <laughs> right. We ain't gonna vote for him, though. <laughs> he ain't getting the Israelite vote. <laughs> but yeah, get him in that thing. Because he's gonna turn some stuff up. He ain't gonna turn some stuff up. But you, you got it? Talk about vote for Trump. What? He ain't vote for nobody. All right. Vote the scripture for says don't put no key. Man, what's the Bible tells you everything on what to do and what not to do. You know, we've been in that voting stuff for a long time. And now we came to the. We, we, what's, you got it? Yeah, it was March 23rd to the 29th. March 23rd to the 29th. So we did it immediately after. We came back. So pretty much from April, April, May, June, July, August, September. So this is be our uh, sixth month. We've been going strong for six months, man. All praises. All praises, man. Six months. Six months. And this was actually out on the whim, man. All praise to the most high God for putting this uh um, spirit on us. Yeah, putting the spirit on us for one, and for two, giving us this platform to use to be able to reach out. To the four corners of the earth because we can actually do that you know we can't all physically just go to all all these places but on periscope all over the world if you're on periscope you can find certain listings that's on the deal all right we didn't make nobody follow us and we got what almost what, 22,000 followers all praises several millions of, of hearts man it's all because of y'all man all y'all coming on here listening to class uh all praises, people repenting, they seeing how you conduct yourself, those in this truth is on this class. All that matters. Image is everything. Right. Image is everything. When they come on here and they see how how you deal with one another, how you deal it on here, all of this stuff, how you conduct yourself. That's why sometimes we need to leave them scoffers alone because they can kind of deter some of them away. You know? So all praise to the Most High God, man. He, he put he put the spirit on us to be able to do this. And now you have you got Atlanta, you got uh, Arizona, you got Orlando. Who else you got? I mean, you, we got a lot of people. I mean, we got a lot of states that's on the Periscope now. You know what I'm saying? That's on. Now we got what? We got uh, in the scripts now. I think in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, we got Patient Saints in Atlanta. Lions Den. You got the Lions Den, Orlando. You got uh, you got us here in Oklahoma. The one in Dallas. Casting down imaginations. This one with uh, this uh, one in uh, uh, Let the truth be told, DC. Let yeah, the, the truth, truth be told, DC. Is it one in Detroit too? I can't remember, bro. Mm. Oh, now we have Deacon ASAP. I believe Deacon, Deacon ASAP is on here now too on Periscope on uh Friday Mondays. Right? Mondays. Oh, no, he said Deacon Asap. Yeah, he's Friday night. Then you got Deacon Aithan on Mondays, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we, listen, we, we, we growing in this thing. We new to this, too. We got a caller? All right, caller, what's your name and where you're from? This is Billy Anson from Virginia. How you doing, sis? Oh, yeah. 
What's your question? Where you from? Uh, what's your question? My question is, I'm coming into this tool for six months, but I'm just, how do I get my husband more involved? He seems to believe, but he still follows these heathen holidays. He feels bad because the kids will have a birthday cake, and it's just kind of like, we're not supposed to be doing that. It's just really hard. Okay. Uh, you said he do believe though, right? Right, we believe, but he still tends to give in, it seems, like for these holidays or right. birthdays, and it's kind of like, we're done with that, we're, you know? Right. So, sometimes, sometimes the spouse get it, you know, fully, and the other spouse just like, kind of like, lags behind. It's because you gotta have a little patience with them. All right, so you gotta have a little patience. You said he believes, so he's willing to do it. Is he keeping the commandments though? Like, is he wearing the fringes and any of any of that? Is we he... just ordered the fringes. It's taking a while to get here, but I kind of buy a sewing machine and put it on myself. I have okay. The blue. Okay. Um, so y'all still you know, kind of fresh coming in, so it's really gonna take time. And you, and honestly, you're the most important piece in this, the most valuable. Right, because give me uh, Matthew's five and sixteen. 5 and 16. You got it? Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. Come on. Let your light so shine before men. So let your light so shine before men because you got to be the example. You got to see that in you to be like, dang, okay, she's serious about this. She's doing this. Because you being a woman, you can do, you can change a lot of things like, you know, what y'all eating. You might be the, be the person that cook, I'm sure. What you eat, the kids got to have fridges on. You know what I'm saying? All this stuff happens. He got to start to see that. He'll start feeling horrible. Right. <laughs> He'll start feeling like, dang, man, what the hell am I doing? Because a lot of us have been brought up in these traditions, and it's sometimes it's hard to get rid of them. You know? It is hard. It, it is so hard, hard to hard. get rid of the stuff because we grew up 30, 40 years of what wickedness, is. and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, now I got to go cold turkey. Right. It's not really that simple. Everybody can't do that. I did it. You know, but everybody can't go cold turkey like that, you know, but sometimes we got to have patience with, with our spouse because now if he's not um, trying to do anything and he's just a wicked Negro, then you need to move around, all right? You need to move around and separate from him because he's not going to do anything but influence, you know, the children or whatever the case may be. It's not going to be good for you and the kids. Because you can't, you won't be able to grow because he's gonna be weighing you down, probably talking bad about the truth and all this stuff, and all that stuff is is not good. So, yeah. so you gotta have a little patience, you know. Go over patience. When the classes come on, have them sit down and listen to it. You Sometimes know? he gets mad. He's like, you know, getting a little, you know, you watching old videos again, and you know, I guess he wants to spend time with me, but. Let's get into the scripture. Let's get into, like, I meditate on this stuff. But it's kind of like now, he's like, enough already, you know? Can I get an hour of just, you know? It's just, I don't know. It's hard. Just, just give him some time. I think I think it's a time issue. Y'all knew. Y'all, you said six months. That's that's very new. You did y'all, baby. So, you, you know, it's just give him some time. Like, sometimes we expect people to get it when we get it. And right. that's not necessarily the case. That person, he might not, he might not really fully understand until probably six months from now. A year. Like, okay, this is real. Like, okay, I'll, I'm in it. Because you got to realize, give me uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. You got that? 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I just asked you if you got it. Like, you just. I'm there. <laughs> oh, you got it? <laughs> yeah, I got it. What you want? Oh. Uh, start at verse 8. Uh, first, so first Corinthians, right? 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8. I say therefore. Actually, verse 10. Verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Come on. And if she depart, let her remain unmarried. So let her depart, let her remain unmarried. So if y'all were to separate, say for instance, this behind, don't come to the truth. He's like the hell with this. I ain't keeping the commandments. I'm going to do what I do. You can separate from him. But you will have to be unmarried because you're married to him. 
You have to be unmarried, come on. Or be reconciled to her husband. Uh-huh. Or, let, or if you if you don't, you can come back to your husband, reconcile your husband, prove him back and see if he really is about his truth and go back to your husband. Come on. And let not the husband put away his wife. Say vice versa, come on. But to the rest speak I, not the Lord. If any brother hath a wife that believeth not, and she be pleased to dwell with him. So if you have a wife that believeth not, and is pleased to dwell with, what does that mean? That means that she doesn't really believe, but she's willing to do it out of the love and kindness of you. So it's not really up for the most high. It's like they love you enough that they're willing to do it for you. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to do it for you. That's what it is. Like, I, I love you so much. I'm going to do this, okay? You tell me we go. We can't eat pork no more? All right, I'm going to do this. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to eat pork anymore. Because I love you. I'm going to do it that way. But read on. Come on. If any brother hath a wife that believe it not, uh -huh. and she be pleased to dwell with him, Come on. let him not put her away. Don't put her away because she's actually doing the right thing by doing the commandments because she loves you. Come on. And the woman which hath an husband that believeth not. Uh huh. And if he be pleased to dwell with her. So it says, and the woman which hath an husband that believeth not. Same thing. And if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. So if he's willing to do the commandments because of the love and kindness of you, he might not fully believe. Right. He might not fully really believe all the way, but he's willing to do it. He don't understand. You understand the severity of it. That person, he don't. But he's willing to do it because he loves you. Don't separate from him. Don't leave him because he's actually pleased to dwell with because this is why. Come on. Verse 14. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife. Because the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife because why? He start to keep the commandments. And when you start keeping the commandments, it changes you like in Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So it's going to convert them over. It is going to take some time. All right, it's going to take a little bit of time. If he's doing and keeping the commandments, he might not get it now. Right. But if he's keeping the commandments and he's, you know, he's trying, you it would end up overtaking him to doing the right thing. Then next thing you know, his partners come over. He talking about the scriptures or somebody say something about the Bible just by him being, being around it, being the truth. You're like, no, nah, that ain't right. According to this, this ain't, that ain't right. Mm -hmm. That's how you would know. You know what I'm saying? Just give him a little time. Come on. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, what? and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Uh -huh. Else were your children unclean. Else were your children unclean. So that's why I said if previously, if you, if he ain't trying to do nothing at all, move around because that can rub off on your children. But he's trying to keep the commandments. Just give him some time. Y'all knew with this. Give him some time. He you you called on before he really did. Right. You know. So just give him some time. And I think he'll come through, Lord's will, you know. Okay. So just, just have a little patience with him. Have a little patience. You know, everybody not coming in here on fire like that. Right. You know, and I know I know the sisters want that. I understand the sisters <laughs> like, listen, I want my husband to be out there on the streets. Right. They need to be out there teaching the people, man. You need to get it together. But we all come in here at the right time. You're afflicted, yet it's kind of like, what more proof do you need? You're being afflicted. You don't see it. Don't right. Mm -hmm. Right. But over time, he keep doing the commandments. Y'all keep going over. What what city? What city? You say you're from Virginia? Yeah. Do y'all congregate with the Virginia camp? We we started last week, but it got canceled due to the storm. Uh huh. So we're, we're going out this Sabbath. Okay, all right. praise. And that's another thing that'll help out. When he come to the Sabbath, he start to see brothers. Brothers welcome him. When he start to see the order and all that stuff, man, the brothers talking to him. A lot of that helps. That's why it's good to have a body. Right. Because a lot of that helps, and, and, and it actually helps to convert their brother or sister. Because they're around a body, and they see it. It ain't fake. Right. It ain't like that stuff on TV that you see people falling out, passing out, <laughs> shucking and driving. We're a real family. Right. We really love each other. We really out to help each other. You and me, okay, we got you. That's how it is. We're going to keep the commandments, though. So, uh, I hope we answered your question, sis. Yeah, thank you so much. Shalom.
Okay, no problem, sis. Just have a little patience. You'll be all right, all right? Shalom, sis. Most high Christ bless you. All right. All praises. That was a good question, man. Yeah, really. And we get we get that a lot, man. You know, sisters come in with, you know, with that. Because I remember another sister got, got on here. I wonder what happened to her. Sister from Atlanta. The one with the old boy called. One with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, Yeah. I wonder, I, I hope oh, she's doing all right. Right. You know, I don't know what the decision was. I kind of was away after, after that. I don't know what the decision was. But a lot of, you know, a lot of sisters need that guidance. They come in this truth and they got husbands. They need guidance and they right. know it. But when the husband ain't willing to guide them, it's like, babe, what do I do now? Right. You know, I can't do this by myself. They got children and all of this stuff because, <clears throat> and that's the thing. So but we got to have, we have to have um, some patience. You know, when you come in this truth, man, you got to have patience. You got to have some patience, man. Real talk. Shalom, most high Christ blessed. <clears throat> you know, I needed patience when I came in this truth. I did too. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking when she was saying that, I was like, damn, that was me and my wife. Yeah. And my kids too. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? You need and I was the only one that was like, okay, I'm finna try this. I'm about to do this thing. But right. everybody else was like, no, nah, we ain't. <laughs> so I, I had to keep seeking counsel. Like, man, dude, what am I supposed to do, bro? Right. <laughs> right. For real. <laughs> they don't want to hear you. What I. Now, now, his sister is. I mean, his wife is over. I mean, like, well, he's, she's uh, doing the, uh, what is it? Uh, the, the, the Feast Tabernacle stuff. No, like the fundraisers and all that stuff. Since they've been uh, diligent. Mm -hmm. Y'all been there, what, three years? Yeah. Three years. Three years, yeah. Three years strong. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, man, we just need a little patience. Right. You know, we don't learn something. You know, your spouse, some of y'all come in together and it's on fire. You know what I'm saying? It was on fire. Mm -hmm. But sometimes your it be your kid. Mm -hmm. Your kid is on fire and teaching y'all. Y'all like all oh, the hell with you. Right. You got the <laughs> devil on you. Kid looking at you like, why you ain't come on, Daddy? Right. You know, what, ain't we supposed to be? I know my son is Daddy, we going to camp. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen, and, and, yeah, that's, and, that's, and that's so dope, man, because man, when them kids get there, man, you ain't got no choice. You like, dang, man, this is this is crazy. It's real. I love hearing my, my little daughter say, Happy Sabbath, Daddy. When I walk in the door after coming from camp, Happy Sabbath. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Right. That's that's because you know you you out there, you teaching your children, you know, how to walk according to the most high God. They understand it. They understand I gotta go up. She understands that I gotta go to camp. Mm -hmm. To go teach. She understands that like I, you better go to camp, Daddy. Right. <laughs> you know, she's crazy anyway. You better go to camp, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I'm about to go to camp. Okay. Shalom. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's a beautiful thing, man. That's why we got to grow our teach, uh, uh, our kids up. I said our teachers. <laughs> we got to teach our kids and grow up in this truth. Get that scripture. Oh, what, what is it, Trey? Uh, the one in Proverbs. No, the one in Psalms. Um, Train up the child. Is it like The way they should go and they won't depart from it. Yeah. Is it Proverbs? It's in the early part, right? Yeah, Proverbs uh, 6? 20, well, 22 and 6, yeah. 22? 22 and 6, uh -huh. Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Train up a child in the way he should go. Come on. And when he is old. And when he grows up. When he's old and when he grows up. Come on. He will not depart from it. He won't depart from it. You know what I'm saying? He will not depart from it. You know what? Listen. Now, let's see how heavy that is. We grew up in this dang truth. I'm 31 years old. I didn't come to the truth until I was, what, 27? 27, 28? Somewhere around there? I think. Somewhere around there. I've been doing wickedness for 27 to 28 years. Consistently. You know how hard it was to depart from my wicked ways? Right. So this is imagine if you grew up in the truth, doing you grew up in the truth. Our children grew up in the truth, keeping God's commandments. You know how hard it'd be for them to get away from that. Right. It'd be extremely hard. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at it like that. That's why he won't depart away. Read it again. Proverbs chapter 
Chapter 22, verse 6. Uh -huh. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, and he will he is, not depart from And when he is old, he is not going to depart from the commandments. That's, that's, that's heavy, bro. That's heavy. We got to look about that. We got to think about that. You know what I'm saying? Give me, uh, actually, give me, uh. It's about like the Christian church. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us grew up in the Christian church. And, uh, I'm trying to think how to make it plain. Like when we trying to teach the so-called Christians, they'd be like, oh, no, Jesus is love and this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to get away from that thing. They 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 really, truly believe that, that all you got to do is say, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, he came in the flesh, and you say, get dunked in some water, and you say. Same thing with this. You know what I'm saying? We was, we was raised like that, so it was in us, but that's why we got to teach our kids, like, to... These commandments. So when they get old, it's gonna be the same way. It's gonna be hard for them to, you know what I'm saying, hear anything other than this. Right. And, th and another thing, when they grow up in this truth, they ain't gonna be easy to be persuaded. Right. They gonna know what's wicked, they gonna know what's wrong. They gonna know all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? They gonna know all of that stuff. You know, I think the only reason why somebody would depart, they grew up in this truth and they depart is if they had some type of way of influence from the outside people in the world. You know what I'm saying? Because that world, bro, is nothing to play with. That's why a lot of us try to get our kids out of the school system because you know how hard it is? Let's imagine, you know how hard it is for a child to keep the commandments of God and you're around people for eight hours that keep none. All your friends, don't none of them keep no commandments. Right, all everybody you see in there, you don't want friends on. Yeah, you the only one. You or your your kids or your your sisters, your siblings or whatever the case may be, your brothers. Uh, y'all the only they the only ones there. But then again, we tell them to uh, listen. You better not do that. You better not stand up for the flag. You better not eat no pork. You better not eat none of that. Yeah, they understand, like, okay, I'm not supposed to eat that. But the influence right. of the other people, man, is so hard because you want to fit in. You want to be able to play on the playground. You want friends. Right. It's, it's imagine what we asking our children to do on a day-to-day -day basis for eight hours. Right. Some of us can't even do it. Right. <laughs> and we expect, we, yeah, we got seven, trouble with the flesh, and we want to ex 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 expect, yeah, a, a four- the eight-year-old kid to do completely okay. And right. You know what I'm saying? To be perfect at school. But the reason why, because we in Esau school systems. Now, if we start doing uh, homeschooling, which we got in place now, you know, uh, what's, the, what's the dang thing? What's it called? Uh, academy. Um, well, what's the, what's the uh, academy again? From IUIC, the, uh, the homeschool academy. Got the name of it. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get our kid, children out of the school systems. And, and I've noticed that there's some statistics out that uh, that a lot of black people are, is is excelling. Their children is excelling. Our people is excelling because of homeschool. We like the leading people or something right now. I, I just seen some statistics. Yeah, so kind African Americans are the leading people in this uh, homeschool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got K-12. K-12 is cool. Even though you're dealing with Esau still, but you're still at home. Jacob Holmes School Academy. Is that what it's called? I don't have a clue. I forgot the name of it. But we're trying to get our children about it. Just imagine what we're asking our children to do. To get up, go to school. It just le it's basically you, you telling your daughter, you leave her in the middle of a city and say, figure it out. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what to do. Figure it out. Especially around this time. Well, next month when they having all the little Halloween parties and all that. All, yeah. the, all the other kids getting candy, but you can't get none. Right. You they, can't. You can't. They not. They time. not mentally capable or strong enough. They don't understand that. To time. understand, yeah, they like. I just want candy. That's all. I just want a piece of candy. Right. So this we're putting them in these situations right now. And we're telling them, you better not do this. Yeah, don't you eat none of that candy. Right, but they're not mentally strong enough to be able to do those things, mm -hmm. to be able to, to combat 
the world, man. That's, you know how hard that is? That's what we're asking our children to do, to combat the world at four to eight years old. That's hard as hell. We barely combat the world our damn self. Right. But we grow. Right. <laughs> we send them out on a dummy mission. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? We setting them up for a dummy mission yeah. every day. So that's why we got to make sure we bring our children. And that has everything to do with the first scripture we read today. The righteous, I mean, the wicked seduces the righteous. And that's where they get seduced from. It start from the day elementary school, then they go to middle school, then high school. And it gets worse. Bro. Right, it gets horrible. Yeah. You gotta get into the sports as you get older, you get good at it, mm -hmm. then now you... Now you can't do it. Right. Because you gotta keep the commandments. Right, so... Make no profession out of it. Right, so just imagine the stuff that we're going, uh, we, that we go through and we expect our children to do. So we gotta get our children away from this wickedness. Right. All right, I, I challenge every one of y'all, man, to try to do some homeschooling. All right, really do some homeschooling at your house. Figure it out. Try to get a job where both of y'all can, one of y'all at least can be there to be able to teach. Figure it out. You know what I'm saying? This is the time to do it so our children will be, be that next generation that ain't going to play around. Can you imagine that a whole generation of commandment keepers? Bruh. Because all of us came in, we grown. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about, like, you was raised like this. Right. A whole generation, though. Not just a couple here, a couple there, a couple there. A whole generation. That's crazy, bro. That's going to be beautiful, bro. That's crazy, bro. Hey, I, man, Louis Will, I get to see that. Day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once really? I come, yeah, you're right. I, I do want to see man. it. That's just like, uh, give me uh, Second Maccabees chapter 1. And start at verse 34. It's pretty much what you were talking about. You're right. The youth is our future, bro. You said chapter 1, verse 4. Remember chapter, no, 2nd Ezra was chapter uh, 1, verse uh, verse 35. 2nd Ezra. Uh, this is like what, what Christ said. Uh, we would have said that uh, we we're going to do wonders. The Bible said we we're going to do wonders. You know, greater things than our forefathers did. You know what I'm saying? We're actually gathering a nation back. You know how hard, you know how hard it is? And it's happening. Right. And we ain't had no visions, haven't seen them, nothing. This is what it's talking about. Get, get uh verse 34. Start verse 34. Second Ezra, chapter 1, verse 34. Come on. And your children shall not be fruitful. Come on. For they have despised my commandment and done the thing that is evil before me. Come on. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come. Which not having heard of me yet shall believe me. Having heard of me but yet shall believe me. Come on. To whom I show no signs. Most I ain't show no signs. Come on. Yet they shall do what I have commanded them. That's us today. That's us today. You got to put yourself in this right here. That's us today. We ain't had no signs. Most high God ain't coming down speaking to us. He ain't sending an angel down here to speak to us. Please. Right. <laughs> he ain't said none of that stuff, but guess what? We was gonna reset, we was gonna rise up and keep and we're gonna believe what God have told us without even seeing any of those things. You know how much faith that is? Right. We gotta have the strongest faith right now. Come on. Verse 36. They have seen no prophets. They ain't seen no prophets. But right. back then they walked with the prophets. They walked. Yeah, they was around. People seen, they knew there was prophets. We ain't seen one. Come on. Second Esther, chapter 1, verse 36. They have seen no prophets, mm -hmm. yet they shall call their sins to remembrance. But yet, we're going to call our sins to remembrance. We ain't seen no prophets. But guess what? The word is coming out. The word is coming out, and we are repenting every day. New people is coming in and repenting every day right. because they see that the commandments is the way. Come on. And acknowledge them. And acknowledge them. Come on. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Whose little ones rejoice in gladness. Come on. And though they have not seen me with and bodily eyes. And we ain't seen the most high God with bodily eyes whatsoever. We can't we can put it in our mind on what he looked like. We got scriptures that talks about what he looked like. You know what I'm saying? Right. But in our minds, we have, with our eyes, we haven't seen nobody. Nobody. 
But guess what? We brought our sins to remembrance. We do everything the Bible tells us to do because we know, we know this is the truth. Right. Come on. Yet in spirit, they believe the thing that I say. But yet in spirit, they believe the things that I say. You know how powerful that is? That's us today. So just imagine, just imagine your children growing up in this truth. They won't depart from it. All right? Get them out of these wicked school systems. And they keeping the commandments. And they're around Israelites all the time. They're not going to depart because that's all they will know. And when you bring them out there and you put them in front of the world, it's, 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 it's slim to none if they're going to remain there. Right. All right? It's very slim. We got to make sure we put our children in the best positions to be able to be successful in this truth. Just like we got to put our kids, children in the best position to be successful in business and making a career or whatever the case may be. We got to do the same thing for this truth. Right. All right. So with that, we're going to end in the uh, class. Anybody got anything y'all want to bring out? Something y'all want to say? Y'all sure? Well, that's about like, uh, how can I say this? I'll say about like, i use me for example. Growing up, you know what I'm saying? Pops was a football player, basketball. He was good in all the sports. <clears throat> so obviously he's gonna want all three of his boys to be good in sports. So what is he gonna do? He gonna have you out there on the field, running, doing drills, lifting weights, doing everything necessary to be good at your, at your craft, to perfect your craft, to be good at the sport that you, whatever it is that you gonna do. Likewise with the truth, we gotta, you know what I'm saying, we gotta, we gotta teach the kids that way, you know what I'm saying, you gotta be passionate about this thing, really for real about it, and don't be like half-stepping. Right, so we gotta be fervent, man, we gotta be fervent in this truth and really take this thing serious and we gotta take it to the next level, all right? We're gonna do some great things, all right? Great things ahead of us and among us. We still got a long way to go, people gotta repent. Most of us shaking some things up, man. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff happening right now, all right, where they got to call on the most High God. Venezuela, they calling on God right now. That's all they have left. <laughs> Nobody going to come save them. Right. Only person that can save them is the most High God. That's it, all right? Like the Native Indians, who's going to save them? They got, they got 70-something tribes in South Dakota now that's going over there. And it's still go. With, they need help. And who's gonna say effort? <laughs> right. Who gonna help? Only the Most High God, bro. Right. Only the Most High God. Who gonna help us? Only the Most High God. So with that, we say shalom. Hope the class was edifying. Thank y'all for tuning in and casting down imaginations on IsraelUnitedRadio.org. All right. We love y'all. All right. And today I'm your host, Officer Paulo. To my left, Brother Lemuel. And to my uh, and the DJ. He ain't even ready, man. <laughs> DJ Elmer Kizzle ain't even ready. He didn't de he didn't he didn't uh he didn't disassemble the the uh mic and everything. He's like, all right, let's make it happen. He's breaking down. But DJ Emma Kizzle, go ahead. Too long, too long, all time first first. <laughs> he a man of few words, man. Right. But shalom, brothers and sisters, most high in Christ bless. Hope uh the class was edifying. We love y'all. Make sure y'all preparing and getting ready for Feast of Tabernacles and also for the Day of Atonement. All right, the Day of Atonement. All right, where we have to atone for our sins and afflict ourselves. All right, to receive mercy from the Most High God and to forgive our brothers and sisters what we, for what they've done to us and what we've done to them. All right, so we got to make sure it's a very important day. Very important day. And we got to take these our holy days seriously. All right. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Most high Christ's best. We love y'all. Shalom. Shalom.